Hello everyone. Um, so welcome to the Integrating Wikidata into the Wikimedia Projects panel. Um, so we've got a good lineup for you today. Um, we've got um, five of us who are on the panel. Um, so we're each going to give a five minute presentation, just summarizing our perspectives. Um, and then we'll move on to open questions. Um, so this is the um, order we'll go in. So I'm Mike Peel, um, user name Mike Peel. Um, I'll give an overview of um, the issue in, in general. Uh, Nirali will then talk about synchronizing Wikidata and Wikipedia. Erika will then talk about the Embable tool. Um, Benoit will talk about the French Wikipedia and Wikivoyage. And Sergey will talk about the Russian Wikipedia and others. And then we'll have open questions. Um, so just as a reminder, please ask questions in the Etherpad, um, or you can ask them in the Remo chat as well. Um, but the Etherpad is the best place. Um, we'll then select questions which we can discuss live. Um, others will be taken up um, on the talk page or Ethernet um, and fold up later. Uh, if you want to be pinged, if um, we don't get to your question, you want to be um, pinged on the answer, then please sign them, add your username afterwards. Um, so I will start um, with an overview. Um, so Wikidata, one of the most important things of Wikidata is it's multilingual. So you can edit it in your language, you can view content in your language again, and you can translate a single label and it's used everywhere that that item is referred to. So it's an incredibly powerful tool for making content available in a multilingual way across all the different Wikimedia projects. It's very multi-purpose. From the Wikimedia project's perspective, it can be used in info boxes, in um, article text even maybe, um, it, for lists for sure, and um, categorization, auto-categorization can be done based on Wikidata, and also lots of metadata, so the into Wikilinks and, and things like that. And it can be used in all the different projects. So Wikipedias is one of the most obvious places, but also in Commons, Wikivoyage, Wikisource, all the different projects can make use of Wikidata. It's very versatile. Um, so you can easily access Wikidata information through multiple different ways. So the native way is through statements um, as a um, parser function. Uh, you can also use uh, Lua calls, calls. Um, so you can write a module in Lua which will call Wikidata and, and bring information in and format it. Um, or you can use pre-existing Lua modules like module Wikidata IB, which is one of the main ones, so IB for info boxes. Um, but it can also be used much more generally. So that will um, give you parameters. You can specify what information you want from Wikidata, reformat it, and give it back to you in a formatted uh, way you can put directly into the article. Um, you can um, also reformat using convert or other templates as well. And it's easy to select the best statements, follow links to other items, and much, much more. However, Wikidata is surprisingly controversial. So most websites started using a database over a decade ago now, right at the beginning of um, when Wikipedia was starting, I remember coding websites. And you'd, you'd changed from manually defining it to using a database and automatically generating pages. We still don't do that in Wikimedia, which is amazing. Um, and Wikidata is one way that you can do that because you've got this structured database behind your articles. It's often seen, though, as an external wiki, and people don't like leaving their wiki to go to another one. So that can be seen as a barrier. It's something we're very used to with um, Commons, for example, with images. You always go to Commons to upload your image, to um, manage your images, and then you include them in Wikipedia articles. But um, doing so with text, with data, with templates is a different thing. Requiring references can be um, a big issue, and so on the English Wikipedia, for sure, they really want everything to be referenced, even though most information on Wikipedia still is not referenced, particularly in info boxes. And you very rarely find an info box which has got references in it. Um, but it's something which is a good thing to do and is um, something which should be encouraged, but it's not very well done on, um, Wikipedia, on Wikidata at the moment. You get a lot of imported from Wikipedia statements, but not so many references. And um, so that can be a major issue. Or it can be a complete non-issue. So Commons, for example, doesn't care. So all of the info boxes we use on Commons, I'll mention later, they don't require references. Um, there's also um, language-specific Wikipedias don't view multilingualism as a priority. Particularly the English Wikipedia thinks everything's in English, pretty much. So that's not really a good thing. 
um, and it really highlights um, some of the areas where, um, so I work on the English Wikipedia a lot, but I write about things in Spain, in Brazil, and the coverage of English Wikipedia there is terrible, but on Wikidata, because it's linked to the Portuguese and the, and the Spanish um, Wikipedias, um, has a lot more in it. So there's a lot of information that can be brought in there, but it's not seen as a priority, that's a different. And there's um, the risk of vandalism is a concern, because that can be quite high impact. Um, if someone changes a label into vandalism and that can show up in different places, that's become a lot less recently because now on Wikidata, all the properties are suddenly protected and a lot of the main um, items that are reused are also protected. But it's still something that people worry about because it's not easily in the flow. So there's a lot which you can worry about with Wikidata, but in the end, Wikidata is in use today. Um, and it's really been successful in that. So it's very widely used on various Wikipedias, as we'll see during this uh, panel, for info boxes, for lists. On the English Wikipedia, it has to be out of main space now, which is not great, but still you can have them. All the interwiki links, of course, and authority control at the bottom of articles. You can cross-check IDs um, and make sure that they're consistent between different Wikipedias, between Wikidata and your Wikipedia, coordinates and everything. Um, and my personal pet project at the moment is the info box in commons categories, which never had info boxes before. We now have three and a half million of them, and it's completely multilingual. So if you're browsing commons in your language, you can find information about what's in that category in your language, which is really new. So that's my overview. Um, so Wikidata has got a lot of good things, a lot more promise, uh, a lot more to come, I hope. So I'm going to pass over to Nirali, um, who will talk about synchronizing Wikidata on Wikipedia. Nirali. Okay. Um, so, hello everyone. I'm Nirali Sahu. And I'm an audible. Uh, so... Am I... Yep, you're okay. Carry on. Okay, um, sorry for that, uh, the network issues. So, hello everyone, I'm Nurali Sahu, and I have been working on the project of synchronizing Wikipedias and Wikidata, along with my mentor, Mike Peel, for, as an outreach intern. So, Moving to the first topic, um, that is uh, the importance of synchronizing Wikipedia and Wikidata in the first place. So Wikidata, along with the information of Wikipedia, can act as a source of information for the other Wikimedia projects, like Wikivoyage or Commons, and even for uh, different, for the different language Wikipedias, like the French Wiki, or the Russian wiki. Um, Wikidata also acts as a collection of only the relevant information from Wikipedia articles that too are a very structured way. This eases our access to information and helps us in importing these to different info boxes and in different Wikimedia projects. So moving to the next topic, that is, uh, how the synchronization works or what is the process behind it. So in the next slide, um, so the synchronization of Wikidata and Wikipedia occurs uh, with the help of bots. So uh, first of all, we find the uh, articles of Wikipedia that we are interested in or the topic uh, areas that we want to retrieve the information from. Then we develop the scripts for the bots, which will use them and perform the imports. But these imports need to be monitored just to make sure that no wrong information is transferred to Wikidata. This is done by a discussion among the community members or the admins with the help of bot requests. Bot requests list the functionality of the bot along with a code snippet or a link to our source code. Once it is assured that the functionality of the bot is relevant and it does not conflict with any existing rules or other functionalities, we are asked to make test edits. 
Test edits is running the script on a small number of articles. For example, let's say 25 or 50 articles. And once those uh, test edits are approved, just to make sure key, uh, just to make sure that our scripts are functioning without any errors, our bot request gets finally approved as a whole. And then we can move to the live edits. That is the final import of information from all the articles in our chosen or in our chosen topic area into Wikidata. This can be done in batches of 100 or 200 to ensure that our scripts doesn't malfunction in between, or it can be done as a whole at once. So moving to the next one. Um, so during this entire process, there are certain hardships or problems that we face. The first one is knowing what to export. Wiki Wikipedia is the house of millions of articles, and choosing uh, the correct articles or the uh, topic areas which will be of our interest or relevance to us and others can be quite overwhelming given the huge amount of top categories or lists present in Wikipedia. Secondly, uh, is second problem is knowing how to export. This is related to the development of scripts. Uh, for example, just like I told you, uh, Wikipedia is a home to millions of articles. This also means that every article, even if they belong to the same topic area, is structured differently. For example, one article on one person may mention his date of birth as birth date, while the other article on another person may mention it as date of birth. So writing scripts or developing scripts which will cover up as many structures of as many number of articles as possible can be quite challenging. So, well, this was just a brief overview of why synchronization of Wikidata and Wikipedia articles is important, the process that's involved, and the hardships uh, or the problems that we face during it. So, moving to the next topic, that is MBAPO, which will be carried out by Erika. Uh, Erica seems to have frozen. Let's give it a second to see if it comes back. Thank you so much. And hi, everyone. Hope you're all happy. We can, can you guys you hear now. me? So you froze for a minute. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, now it's good. Oh, okay. So thank you all for having me at this session. And my talk today is about the Enbabel tool that was developed to automatically generate Wikipedia, Wikipedia stubs using information from Wikidata. So Mike, if you can move to the next slide, please. Thank you. It was developed by me and my colleague, Eder Porto, inspired by a template by Richard Nipple from the Metropolitan Museum. And this project started in 2018 at the Research, Innovation and Dissemination Center for the Neuromathematics here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, during a science journalist fellowship. This was a research on computational journalism and structured narratives using Wikidata. Uh, next slide. And why did we do it? Well, in this research center, we were working on how to integrate Wikidata and Wikipedia to improve knowledge dissemination. And the idea was to automate complex or even boring tasks and to provide a resource for the users that allowed them to focus on more analytical contributions. So, for example, every Wikipedia entry on films should include its title, date of release, the main cast, who directed it, or uh, if it is a comedy, a drama, or even a documentary, etc. And many other information that is already available on Wikidata. So while we offer this information structure in the narrative, the user can focus on elaborating the context in which the movie was set, uh, its public repercussion, or anything else. And this is the logic behind the Embable tool. And this is a tool that can be used in education and GLAM projects, as we do here in Brazil. And finally, it has the potential to support small language communities on creating some articles. Uh, next slide. 
so this tool was based on the structure narrative concept that is the development of texts understandable by humans that are actually automated from predetermined arrangements processing information from a structured database in this case wikidata and so the embable tool provides the narrative templates in which the gaps are filled by wikidata information basically next slide and how was it developed we used the wikidata ib module and worked a lot on elaborating the narrative templates trying to make it sound as natural as possible for the user so the templates for works of art museums libraries archives books films journals and even earthquakes are quite simple and can generate the stub using a single wikidata item but it provides less information for the user than the complex ones that we did for the brazilian elections coordinating several items at once and of course the work of modeling them directly on wikidata and we also tested it a lot so we did a lot of testing with all those narratives so they could sound the more natural possible for the user uh, next slide and how does that work for the user we can provide a button in which the user can simply add the desired template and the wikidata item that he or she wants to create an article for we can also add the embable templates on lists so people can just click on the red links and start creating the entries and we even use embable on wikibooks to create a photo album for a glam collections here in brazil and it was built using the resource in a way that the subtitles for each photography was created with a narrative template there are also queries in this book to show related images for the user and the cool part is that we also invite the reader to experiment with metadata apps to collaborate with the creation of the image so that if he or she adds more information to the depicts property through those apps, it automatically improves the quality of both subtitles and queries in the book for the image. Uh, next slide. And finally, let me show you an example of an article on Brazilian elections created entirely with the Embable tool. Uh, next slide. We have here this quite complex introduction with all basic information you can see in a good quality Wikipedia article, such as what were the disputed positions for that particular election, who was elected and from which party, uh, with how many votes, a lot of data to situate that particular election, right? And it was all automatically generated, so which is this is very impressive. And on the right side, you can see this beautiful info box that is actually a work of art by my colleague Eder Porto. And next slide. And we also have a section for the results for each round and disputed position of the election. So this table is included here in the narrative template, which is pretty cool since people have a lot of difficulty in building it manually. And then we also have the same information from the table on the written form, including these percentages and every data that is in here. And next slide. The final part of the article is also automatically generated, including categories and some of the references that we built using identifiers. And next slide. And just to wrap things up here, uh, Ah, Erica seems to have frozen again. Let's give a second to see if it comes back. Uh, although we started this a couple of years ago and work on... Am I back now? Yeah, you're yes. back now. Okay, so just to wrap things up here, uh, although we started this a couple of years ago and we worked on simplifying the code, we still need to work on documentation so people can actually collaborate on building more structured narratives and I think there's still room for imagining how Embable could serve other language communities. And that's it for now, thank you so much. Hi everybody, I'm going to, um, to present um, Wikidata usage in French Wikipedia with data from Wikidata and uh, another example in Wikivoyage. Um, the usage is a bit different with Wikivoyage because data are from uh, OpenStreetMap outside Wikidata and Wikidata is only kind of herb.
Um, next slide, please. So in French, we have a kind of classical usage of rookie data um, to, for, for example, with biography info box or monument info box or even sports event info box, for example. Um, all data are from wiki data. And uh, there is uh, the possibility to use the multilingual and the multi grammar, if I can say, um, uh, aspect of uh, wiki data to have a good translation on the gender. For example, I took this example as written for uh, this property is correctly translated in French in redacteur A or redactrice A according to the gender, the feminine or masculine uh, gender. Um, and this uh, kind of usage is, is the cause of uh, debate sometimes, as mentioned by Mike just before. They, they are kind of controversy sometimes. At contrary, the, the usage in the footer of articles are really appreciated by all the community, I think, I guess. Um, I suppose, um, I am, for example, authority control and um, specialized database ID uh, for hearts, uh, politics, sports, etc. Uh, it's really reuseful because, because it's a bit complicated to write, so it's really uh, easy to just put um, a template, just write a template and automatically you can get every ID like in the next slide, please. For example, in this article, they are, I took this example because Anna Kizanofer is a mathematician and, uh, he, and she is a cyclist too. And uh, uh, there are two info boxes in her article, an info box for, um, for a career of mathematician and, uh, for example, you can see the um, a PhD supervisor. Uh, the, this piece of data is coming from uh, Wikidata. And there is another info box uh, with information coming from Wikidata too, but related to uh, a career of, uh, of cyclist. She won a, a gold medal. In the uh, during the recent uh, Olympic uh, Games in Tokyo, and at the bottom of the article, you can see you have some ideas, some research ideas, and you have some uh, research um, sports ideas, and this data are automatically coming from uh, Wikidata. Um, next slide, please. Um, in Wiki Voyage, we have a kind of uh, similar info box. All data are coming from Wiki data, population, area, some uh, metadata like that for a specific location. But we have another aspect really interesting uh, with data not coming from Wiki data, but we get this data, this piece of data. Uh, read Wikidata. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, it's much graphic. You can see here it's a small city in France, and you have the the, the outline of the administrative map, uh, the, the the shape of the administrative map, and it's automatic. Uh, it's um, automatically drawn actually, and it's drawn according the relation. Uh, object in OpenStreetMap. So in Wikidata, you have only um, the OpenStreetMap relation ID. And automatically, we have the good shape uh, drawing like that. Before, it was necessary to, to write every point of the polygon in a wiki voyage. Now it's automatic. And data are not specifically in Wikidata. They are in OpenStreetMaps. So it, it's a kind of usage of Wikidata where um, Wikidata is a kind of hub with a, an external uh, data source. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Sergei Lishina. 
I want to tell you about Russian Wikipedia and some other Wikipedias on the languages of the Russia, smaller Wikipedias than Russian. Uh, in Russian Wikipedia, we use uh, Wikidata integration from the very beginning, uh, like five years ago, six years ago. Uh, and it's almost uh, the same as in French Wikipedia, but with total different stack of models and uh, templates. Uh, this next slide. So, uh, for now, uh, almost all info boxes uh, in Russian Wikipedia supports Wikidata, and almost in all of uh, one million and a half articles, we have some data from Wikidata. Uh, and difference from other projects, mostly that we uh, use uh, complex logic to show. Uh, every type of uh, and every property from Wikidata. Uh, we can use categories uh, from Wikidata, show awards as icons, uh, show uh, maps uh, the same way as uh, French Wikivoyage do, do this, um, and a lot more. Also, we can uh, have tables for uh, population and uh, not only tables, but also charts. Uh, but it's it's a lot of small pieces of uh, code that shows um, um, every property separately. And also we tried to uh, generate lead section, uh, the same as uh, Mbabel, uh, but it's uh, only experimental, but some parts of uh, lead section as uh, places and dates we uh, widely use code to generate these uh, parts. And uh, also we tried and we use uh, after generated stubs, uh, not uh, with a lot of text, but with uh, info box and main uh, parts and short lead section. Uh, yeah, and also we have source templates uh, that uh, little difference that English and French Wikipedia has, and a storage, a storage control uh, and uh, external links template. Uh, I will show you on the next slide, this. Okay, a little later. And, and we have the, the, the uh, same stack of uh, models and uh, templates uh, that can be used in different Wikipedias, and uh, because uh, Russian Wikipedia is center of a uh, big hub of smaller Wikipedias. Uh, we use the same code in uh, probably 20 Wikipedias, uh, which is smaller than Wikipedia. And uh, difference from Russian Wikipedia is that smaller Wikipedias really want to use uh, data from Wikidata because they don't want to fill all this data by themselves. And, and um, different from uh, Russian Wikipedia, they mostly use universal uh, info box, which is another model. Uh, it's really close to uh, another model, which called data box, that's very popular in another part of Wikipedia. And it can be used to generate uh, info box the same way as in Commons, like for every article. And they also use our models for source templates, and uh, because it's they, they need to create uh, article as fast as possible, they used some gadgets from to, to import data from Russian Wikipedia to Wikidata, and they use this data uh, in in the info boxes. Next slide, please. So on the left is um, info box in Russian Wikipedia. It's totally generated from the Wikidata with all pictures, with all words. Uh, it's not so easy to read for, for most of us. Uh, but still, it can generate blocks of information. It can displace awards as images and uh, sh show and calculate a, a lot of things. And uh, on the right part, it's a box from Bashkir Wikipedia. Uh, it's it reaches a universal info box. Um, it shows uh, it, it, it doesn't have uh, 
fields that uh, it's like it, it shows every field that it can show from Wikidata. It's not not as good as uh, separate info boxes, but it's really good for small Wikipedias that don't want to manage uh, hundreds and thousands of uh, info boxes. Next slide, please. Uh, yeah, uh, and this is uh, how we generate sources. Uh, we have also separate template, which is really close to site Q that uh, developed an English Wikipedia. And it's uh, adapted for Russian Wikipedia, for Russian standards of uh, displaying information. And it's also used in, in a lot of uh, Wikipedias. Uh, next slide. Uh, yeah, it's probably the last one. It's uh, authority control. We uh, it, it's split by uh, topics like social networks, uh, uh, encyclopedias, and authority control, and a, a, a lot more. And it, it's really uh, popular in Russian Wikipedia. It's mostly replaced uh, uh, all external links in articles. So. It's uh, what, what can be used in many Wikipedias. And uh, yeah, OK, next, next one. I just want to uh, come back to what Mike mentioned uh, in the beginning. Even with all this technology, even with all this uh, uh, stuff that we can do with uh, models and templates, community, uh, not, not uh, everybody in community wants to see information from Wikidata. Uh, a lot of people don't like that we can control Wikidata and we can check if uh, there is some vandalism in Wikipedia. And um, it's, it's still external project that difficult to edit and uh, it doesn't have enough references. So, like last discussion about uh, do, do we need to use Wikidata or we need to disable Wikidata was this month, uh, even after all these years of using Wikidata. So when somebody wants to use Wikidata as a project, it's uh, not uh, as simple as it looks like. Thank you. Next slide. Okay, thank you to everyone on the panel for the presentations and for the audience for listening to us. Um, we'll now go on to questions. So as a reminder, please ask these on the Etherpad um, and we'll select some questions now to answer. Um, other questions will follow up on the talk page um, or on the Etherpad. Um, we can also go to a breakout room after this as well to have a chat if you want. Um, so the first question I'm going to pick is for Erica. Um, so how long did it take to get all of that data into Wikidata before you um, could start auto-creating articles on Portuguese Wikipedia? Well, for the simple templates that only uses a single Wikidata item, it, it didn't take too long because we were using items that were already available on Wikidata. But for the election, the, for the election template, it was more complex because we had to actually module on Wikidata the whole structure of the thing. So we could coordinate the Wikidata items and we scrapped our database from our elections um, for our government on the election. So we scrapped all the information from that database and then we module on Wikidata and we did this work on coordinating the items so we can build the narrative template. So it was very complex. So this is why it took almost a year to build under this research uh, scenario. But once we did it, uh, it is possible to do it again with another teams. So I would definitely inspire you to go and try to build it yourself as well because the hard work we already did so it's it, it is we have proven that it's possible to do it thank you um so the next question is for nirali and um, so is the work you presented also being applied to categories and there's a comment differences across wikipedia's on category structuring appear to be significant 
Um, yes, uh, the work that I do uh, is applied to categories as well. In fact, uh, maximum of the work that I've done over this time period has been applied to categories. Like, for example, there was uh, the import of uh, soccer VID from those uh, which use the soccer ID template but do not have that in Wikidata. So that was based on a category of that. Then now my focus has shifted to categories con uh, considering lists. So yeah, my uh, this scripts can also be applied to categories and lists altogether. Perfect, thank you. Um, I'm going to ask myself a question now, which um, was, when will site Q be integrated on Cytoid? Um, so this was brought up during um, Sergi's um, sessions, so it seems like the sources template on uh, Russian Wikipedia is very similar to site Q, which we talked about yesterday with Andy. Um, so it would be great if we can um, integrate that into Cytoid, and we need to know who in, who's developed um, Cytoid and who will be able to help with that. Because I think everything with a template is ready to go, but uh, it needs some more from Cytoid. Um, so another question, and um, this one's for both Benoit and Sergi. So if the functionality between French and Russian Wikipedias is similar, can you imagine a world in which you use the same stack of templates and modules too? Of course, the string shown to users will be translated to French and Russian. So this is from Amir. Um. Um, Sergey, if you want to answer, um, fr from my side, what can I say? Um, for some templates, it can be possible, I think, for authority control, for example. Um, at contrary, perhaps for Infobox, there, there is a cultural dimension, there is something cultural, and perhaps some uh, metadata are really important under French Wikipedia and not in the Russian Wikipedia and, and on the opposite side too. So I, I'm not sure it's, it's really so simple. It's not only a technical question. Uh, it's what I mean. I think it's possible to create some uh, basic uh, Wikidata frameworks that can be used in both Wikipedias. But uh, yeah, some extensions for, for this framework should be done for every Wikipedia separately. So. Yeah, we, we can communicate and we can create some uh, integration committee, I don't know, uh, to discuss uh, basics of integration, but next uh, every Wikipedia has uh, some rules that can be applied only for this Wikipedia. Okay, so I see we've got five minutes left. Um, so um, I want to quickly answer a question from Lillian. So she tried to use the Wikidata info box template um, in an article on the Spanish Wikipedia. Now, should they use this template or use um, the person tab, which I guess is um, the info box for specifically for people? What's the recommendation? So I didn't actually realize that the Wikidata info box template, this is the one from Commons, um, was being used so much. Um, so that's good to see it being used live on Spanish Wikipedia. Um, in general, that info box has been designed so that it just pulls all of the inf information in. So you may want to use a more sp specialist information um, template, so like uh, one specifically for people, just to reformat and display things in a standard way for people. But you can still use a generic one as well. Um, if you try to use it on the English Wikipedia, then someone will come along and remove it shortly afterwards, unfortunately. But uh, on the English Wikipedia, you tend to use the info box person slash Wikidata and things like that, which people don't tend to object so much to. Um, so another question for Erica. Um, so this generate is a question from Ruth um, saying this generated article is great. Are you flagging to suggest humans might engage with it in a way that fleshes out or naturalizes the language? Um. Well, we try to provide the template sounding as natural as possible, as in this case of the election, because we were able to coordinate several Wikidata items on this template, so it was easier to model how we wanted the phrases to sound. So it provides 
a better um, result for the user by the end. And uh, obviously, this template isn't automatically publicated on Wikipedia without a real human revision. So people can engage on elaborating on the template that we provide, even the simpler ones that are built with a single item. But the idea is actually that we can provide this, this Wikipedia entry structure in a way that people can uh, work on more complex and human uh, sections. For example, on the elections project that we did, we, we used with students from the, the journalism school here in Sao Paulo, and they created these entries and they never edited Wikipedia before, and they were amazed by how this tool was working and how it was providing this, those complex tables and the text. Uh, but we required them to add sections on the background of the election, uh, analytical information about it, so we could provide an even better experience and a better quality Wikipedia entry. So to answer the question, I think, yeah, people can engage with this tool, but it also requires a lot of work behind it uh, before we can actually ask for people to start working on creating articles through this tool. And I think that this is linked to a comment that we also had here on the other pad by Darwin that said that actually this requires a lot of work on Wikidata. And yeah, that's true, but uh, if a single user is is encouraged enough to do this work. I think that this can be a great resource for newcomers or even more experienced Wikipedians that are trying to build uh, Wikipedia entries on thematic, on similar thematic Wikipedia entries, right? Okay, thank you. Um, so we've got a few minutes left now. Um, there are a few more questions, but I think we should be wrapping up early. Um, so I think, we've, yeah, we've got two minutes left to just sit here. Um, so is there any last comments any of the panel would like to say? Anything we think we've missed? Or has everything been quite well summarized? Unfortunately, we've lost Nirali. Okay, well, we think we've covered everything, so. There's been a lot of um, information about what how Wikidata has been used here. Um, and we've talked a bit about some of the controversies and some of the strengths as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see Wikidata's future over the next few years as these tools um, develop and mature a lot more because they're all still very new the last few years, I guess. Um, so um, as they kind of bed in and become better, it should be really good to see. Uh, I'm also hoping that the community will come more around to using Wikidata, particularly the English Wikipedia. It would be really nice to be properly using Wikidata rather than kind of having it on the edge. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to. Sergi, I see your microphone is unmuted. Do you want to say something? Uh, no, I just wanted to say that probably we will continue to talk uh, on, on conference next. So, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, can you say where it will be? So we'll be meeting after this in building six, floor nine, table B. So I think it's a standard one, standard meeting room for after a session in uh, building three. So building six, floor nine, table B. Okay, we've got less than a minute left, so um, let's leave it there. Thank you very much for listening. Um, this is very much an ongoing conversation, so please do come and join us in the um, um, table. Um, and um, see you in the um, future Wikimanias, hopefully, as well. Thank you so much. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.